What's up y'all? It's Kalavid and I'm narrating this match between PK Leech and Leo for SPL week 2 in ADV. And as for the players, PK Leech is a very well known ADV mainer. A very good player and Leo can also play some very good ADV. If I'm not mistaken he's a multi-generational talent too when it comes to Pokemon. Quick reminder before we get into this one. Uh, SPL ADV games are best of one, so the winner of this game takes the whole set. Let's get into it, I'm excited. Standard Tar lead and Zap lead from uh, the two. And oh yeah, I do not like uh, meta that much. <laughs> Zap goes into meta against Tar because that exact thing can happen. Uh, Fire Blast is basically as strong as uh, Crunch against Zapdos. Uh, 120 base power and your Skarmory or Meta can take a big chunk and Leech is actually brave enough to stay in there and crunch the Meta too, not fearing a focus, uh, uh, not fearing a Meteor Mash, not Focus Punch, sorry. So that's probably a fast star and that's also why he stayed in versus this Breloom which he figured was adamant but it's jolly. And that was a very well calculated risk too I think because even if it's adamant, even if it's jolly and kills the tower as it just so happened, there's the duck to trap it for leech. Okay, so a lot has happened already. We are looking at a tower duck team from PK leech, so could be something like a TSS with the Skarmory and Leo is probably running spikeless uh, mixed offense because there's a, there's a Charizard and Breloom. Okay, so Leo is very very far behind and Starmie is also not what you want to see uh, when you're running mixed offense because you have very limited switch it's probably a Snorlax not even just yet uh, Pika Leech just plays it safe though goes for a recover wants to keep this Starmie healthy for that Charizard which is coming right back in so Leo might click HP Grass here yeah and this is uh, definitely a pretty bulky TSS from uh, Leech's side with the Recover Starmie. And the last has to be a Spiker on here, so probably a Skarmory. And um, I'm wondering what the last is on Leo's side right now, because I'm thinking it it's probably a Snorlax, but that might have wanted to come in on the Starmie here. And uh, Charizard is uh, usually very threatening into these TSS squads, but with a bulky Starmie, it's tough for it to really break through unless it crits with HP Grass on the switch. But yeah, Leo is uh, trying to use that uh, Charizard to double in his Zapdos right now. So. Um, he can either hit the Blissey here for some damage or pull another double and he just decides okay I'll just go for a safe HP grass get some damage on anything. Pretty underwhelming into the Blissey though and that's a freeze but we have a Lumtar so chances are it's uh, have we seen a move it might be DD then. Also um, helps um, uh, with the meta to break through the swamp but but uh, Leech just has very good answers to this Charizard here doesn't even have to risk Blissey into a focus punch quite often on these teams uh, Charizard is beat up as well but here we have a focus punch variant but Starmie just walls it so effortlessly and can even get some uh, chip damage on this Zapdos right here which puts it in Blissey range, I assume. And, oh, the last is actually Snorlax. It's uh, Swampert, which also makes sense because you would be quite light on uh, Rock Resists then. Only with uh, Metagross and Breloom is only a pseudo Rock Resist, not a real one. So Swampert also makes a lot of sense. And now Leo is trying to uh, break through with this meta. Gets an attack raise and is able to boom on the Skarm, but the Skarm has already uh, laid three layers. And 
it wasn't going to get much value outside of uh, just walling the Skarmory. So this is an awesome trade for Leech. And uh, Leo needs a crit to break through this uh, defensive Starmie here with her Swampert. Um, otherwise it's just gonna wall it. Crit could actually still be dangerous as we just saw that rolled at 47 so if a high roll crit um, puts it at like uh, does like about 94 damage then sand could kill it and leech is uh, wise enough to get out of the, there this swamp it is sorry about that that was my ad block just skipping an ad where's the music let's see Ah, it just takes a second. There we go. Thank you. Um, yeah, this Swampet is basically what Leo is just using to break through uh, Leech's TSS. And that was a very smart Ice Beam from uh, Leech, I would say. Because he's so far ahead that even if uh, the Blissey took an EQ, I think he would have enough firing power left with the Starmie walling the Charizard and outspeeding the uh, Tyranitar to be able to win this one so focus punch from Leo not a bad play here either trying to go off this uh, throw that Leech could make and Leech doesn't even allow that Tyranitar to get a DD and just goes straight into the Dark Trio which also makes sense because it wasn't gonna do much Except uh, kill that Tyranitar in this one. Now Charizard does get the sub, but um, either Blissey or Stami will be able to come in and break the sub, or Dactrio too, I guess. Dactrio isn't doing anything against the Zap without Rock Slide, and that should be a very safe victory for Leech here. Just gotta click some serves here because the Starmie outspeeds the Charizard. And yeah, this is looking a bit like the old undisputed uh, Charizard Breloom team from Leo here. And Leech takes this set. Um, um, yeah, with a pretty standard Starmie TSS. Very bulky stuff. Unfortunately, Leo's main breaker Charizard just wasn't able to do much against that Starmie. And um, he also caught a very, very rough start with that uh, fast mixed tar beginning. Or fast crunch tar, I guess. Um, looking back at it, maybe uh, Leech also figured hey, that uh, Metagross is lefties and my tar is so bulky, I can just. Uh, tank a ma mash anyway so it could have been slow too and maybe i've been mistaken about that but overall a nice match i hope you all enjoy it and see you next time